Good day. Hope you're well. Welcome back. Welcome to the breakdown of the last war of the first season with a legitimate shot at Masters. Here's the matchup. You see us matching Old Driver. At this point in time in the season, we are 8-3. and three. Uh, We had lost our last two wars. We were at top 10 in the world at one point in time, and then we matched SSX. Had the uh, expected loss there. And then on coming down from that, in War 11, we had lost to an Asian alliance. We just didn't do our best, and they performed very well. And so, we go into this Chi on Path 9. I'm going to kind of talk over it a little bit. She rocks this sassy. He's a Gamma champ. I've got Hulk for the extra cleanses. And we matched Old Driver last season. Uh, they're a very good alliance. They had beaten us last time. And so, we were in all-in mode. Big boosts, big brains, you know, hyper-communication. And so, we kicked this war off. And here we're just going to bleed him down. I've taken this fight probably, I don't know, three to five times this season. I don't do the war videos, so you guys don't see it as much. I'm very familiar with it. Um, and I throw on an invol boost just to save myself some potions uh, in case I need to take a special three, because I'm going to choose to take a special three. Makes this fight easier. But all in all, she's far and away probably the best counter for this fight. And there you see it, that oh so familiar sassy special three. Battlegrounds players know what I'm talking about. The nice thing is, it typically doesn't hit that hard. And when you got the invol, well it goes beautifully, doesn't it? We're gonna keep bleeding him down. At this point in time in the war, Old Driver was well ahead of us in closing out. And so they had probably a hundred fights at this point in time. And they had quite a few deaths. And so we were looking like we were in a good spot as I entered into this uh, next hazard shift fight on path nine, the JJ. Um, you know, a good champ, good placement, but realistically, Chi's a hard counter. And uh, yeah, I've been Chi and JJ all season. She's a ton of fun. And once you get jamming, it's, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Her health pool's not that big. You cleanse a bunch, so you keep her investigation low. Even if she were to go unstoppable, you just spam your special ones. In this fight, I'm going to go special two, just to get the tranquilize up to keep debuffs from applying, so I can keep my cleanse charges up and apply uh, or cleanse when they do come up. But, you know, it's a straightforward fight. Naturally, I throw my special into an indestructible, because why not? But it doesn't matter. The bleed damage is coming, and that JJ is gone. Move on to this Guardian on path two, section two. Uh, that first fight, it's really no, uh, a no placement for Guardian, but it's just a big Guardian. And uh, in this fight, you're going to see why I value Guardian Sig so much. Now at Sig 200, he has 80% bleed resistance. This Guardian is not Sig 200 which makes Chi a great counter. So we're just gonna parry, get our hits in to get to our scythe charge so he can't block us and he's not going to evade us. And now it's just fun in the sun, bleed this guy down. You're gonna see me primarily try to, to parry or block the special one. Um, that was really just, again, potion saving. Uh, I'm not great at dexing the special one consistently. It just has some odd timing. If any of you caught any of my Necropolis streams, specifically the first one, uh, you saw a lot of me taking a Guardian Special Ones to the face. But, uh, you know, this is war. We're going to be a little bit more little more um, cautious. We're going to be a little more careful. We're going to set a good tone. And we're going to just bleed that guy out. Thus ends my day one fights. Smooth sailing. At this point in time, we had a good lead. But as you can see, as we get closer to my bedtime score, you'll see coming up shortly. They cleared more of the map. We cleared more of the map. But they had a 10 kill lead on us. And we had a one death lead on them. And that is how day two is going to kick off. Now at this point in time, they have cleared the map. The scores are the same. We have a one death lead. We have 10 fights. And I have five of those 10 fights. Starting with this Zemo. 
Section 2, Path 2, Fight 2, the EMP Shock. You know, it's a good placement for Zemo. Uh, if you go Shock Immune, right, he gets those Furies, which are going to come into play at some point in time here. But the goal in this fight is just to boost big and nuke him down. And that's what we're going to try to do. So we're going to build to that special 2. I went Invul. Now you can see there on that blocked hit, I take about 20% of my health. Crazy. So I decide, you know what? I've got the Invul. I got the power backs. Let's just do this then. We get a crit on that last one. I'm still unblockable. And that is one toasty Zemo. Now moving on, check this out. I had to leave this in. I typically don't leave moves in. I'm looking around. Okay, okay. There's one of five down. Let me move over to this destroyer I'm going to take next. Oh, wait. Wait, what's going on? Um, what? I'm not moving. Yeah, maybe. Click on the destroyer. No. We go around the destroyer. I cannot tell you how my heart pounded at that moment in time. And uh, yeah, we got some good pro Kabam music there in the background, huh? Panic, man. Panic. We go ahead and reset. Need to redial in here. Again, I got four fights left of these last ten. And that is not at all how I'm trying to start this thing. So we back out. We restart. Resettle for a moment. Again, I'm already, you know... The stress is running. I wouldn't say I'm shaky. I'm not quite there, but you know. I mean, this is a big deal. We're at a point. Now, we are ahead on time. So we can give one death. But I don't want to be the person who does that. I want to have a smooth sailing clean war end step back hit the destroyer thank god we go this time and now we're going to go in switch our boosts that's going to come into play later so pay attention there we switch to our green boosts get our hulk going into this destroyer fight and this is a pretty straightforward destroyer fight here it's a good placement i get it if people are scared of the special two but we have prepared ourselves, and we are going to go in and fight this destroyer and not be scared of the special two. And we're going the same way we did with Zemo. We check our boosts, do the Oakley method. Check our boosts, make sure everything's live. Check the nodes, make sure everything's looking good. And we're going to go in with the same process for Zemo. What are we doing? We get to special two, we nuke him down. Get a nice little parry at the start, and this is just going to be easy squeezy. Uh, yeah, that was me doing me things, you know. I was a little bit heart flustered and fluttered from the uh, that whole map issue. I'm glad I could leave that in for you. Gotta love this game. There are no bugs in this game, right? Now, he's got power focus too. So, we're not worried about throwing this special him going to a special three. Boom. No crits. Hit our one special two decks. And this fight's done. He's not making it out of the next combo. R3 Hulk, let's go! Now we've got Chi against this Quicksilver over on 44. The stun immune. Uh, I've been using Chi versus Quicksilver all season. Realistically, the trouble in this fight is getting your first scythe up. Once you do that, it's straightforward. Uh, in this one, I went with the PS1 because I'm trying to get to my PS2 or my special 2 to get the Tranquilize up. Okay, that's another risk in this fight is that you get too many debuffs applied to yourself and can't wind up keeping the cleanse up. So we go through the first stretch here, which is just trying to get our scythe up. So every Quicksilver fight starts. Modox too. You get those guys on like one eye open and stuff like that. And you have to just kind of go low and slow. Don't stress it, right? Don't panic. In this case, I go ahead and toss that, both to get the Tranquilize and give myself the scythe charge. And now we want to go aggressive. Right now we want to make sure we keep scythe charges up. I'm trying to bait special ones because I've been hitting the special one decks. He finally throws it. And we get back into business. Uh, I expected the tranquilize to do a little more for me in this. You can see I'm building poisons up. And I'm like, okay. I'm looking at it. You know, again, the key in these fights is really to keep the scythe charge up so you can be aggressive. And we're just going to keep jamming. All right, again, I'm getting more debuffs than I'd like. This is my last chi fight though, so it's not about health. It's just about not dying. After all, at this point in time, we've only got one death to give. That's important. You should pay attention to that. Quicksilver's pretty much playing ball. He's not too bad. I've taken a few bosses this season. We're going to go ahead and throw this special one, get some more bleeds on him. We want to end this bad boy. My Tranquilize is still up. 
should have gone in there. You can see I got, got debuffs building, but uh, Dunzo, not too bad. Now we're moving on to our fourth fight, and we got this Mantis over on 47. Now take a look at that Serpent up on 46. That's going to come into play. But I'm hopping into my fight here on 47. I mean, I'm checking my nodes, checking my boost. Again, I'm a little flustered from how things have gone. Specifically, that destroyer again threw me off. Check my boosts, and I forget to put my power backs on. Okay, if, if I had just taken a step back and thought about it, I probably would have taken note of that. Now, the nice thing is, this is a mantis, right? So, as much as this has some opportunity to go sideways, all in all, this is not an incredibly difficult fight. And we're gonna just gonna go ahead and get a falter and get smacked in the face because we're not taking our timing. So that was a big wake up call for me, right? Hulkling for this fight and for the next fight. And I just take a step back, breathe, notice the falter timer, bait my specials. I didn't notice at the beginning that I didn't have power backs. Obviously it was just when I threw that special too that I realized what was going on. And it was just silly. And I'm not even gonna mess with the block stuff anymore. I'm not gonna mess with the second fury. We're just gonna go super safe and chunk this mantis down because it's a mantis on 47. So I'm assuming that they were trying to get people into a special one loop, but not here, not now. Nope, Hulkling doing Hulkling things. And that's four of five, ladies and gentlemen, four of five. And now the grand finale, taking on the Onslaught boss, taking in Hulkling. You can see that the Serpent is not at full health, which means we now have no deaths to give. It's game time, ladies and gentlemen. Win, and we're in, die, and the season ends in disappointment. But the plan in this fight is to be as safe as possible. Okay, we don't need to be too progressive. We're just gonna use our unblockables to get our openings to start. We're gonna bait special ones and we're gonna beat this guy down. And you'll see how it goes. We hit our dexes on point. Toss off the first one. I got the power backs squared away for this one. I am trying to time them a little bit with the crush charges so I don't have to deal with that because it's got weird spacing stuff where you'll get hit even though you don't seem like you should. Oh, we're going, it's going beautifully so far. We are on point. We're gonna back off, get our next special thrown. He's playing ball and we're just beating this onslaught down. Trying to keep the neuros down. You know, they do a good chunk of damage with his health pool and attack here. And again, it's the same process. It's like we're doing summer or spring of sorrow again. Just chunking them down with more boosts. Keep hitting our dexes. So far, so good. And here we're halfway home. I'm looking at it and I'm going, all right. Whew. We're halfway home. No deaths, no deaths. Hit the nice intercept. He's got the crushed. Okay, we're trying to back. We're trying to back off. He's not tossing it. We get it, Woo. get the decks in. The hands are sweaty, the thumbs a little shaky, but we're getting there, we're chipping them down. Okay, we wanna bait that one and boom. He stutter steps me and smacks me in the face. And just look at that damage start to tick. Now all of a sudden, I am stressing out. I think he also failed one of my Furies. And lo and behold, I had a meeting in 10 minutes. Thank you, do not disturb. But now, here we are, baby. We're here in the final stretch. I am as tight as I can be at the same time, just trying to be loose and calm. Can we make it? Oh, I don't know, man. I'm just watching it tick. You're not healing from any neuros. Wait till they're off me. Back off, reset. Focus. Do what we gotta do. Super safe. 
Need to hit one more. Just need to throw this special too, and I don't get the power. Oh my gosh. You can see I threw that just a second too early. So now we got to hit Dex's. Oh my gosh. It should have been done. Got to hit that Dex. I wait for one more because I want to be so safe. Oh my lord. Two of the most stressful Onslaught Dex's I've ever had to do in my life. But we got him. And there you see it. The end of the war. We took it on time. Shout out to old driver. GG's gentlemen. We won a war on time last season. This was the first one for this season. And oh my goodness. Woo. And there's your boy. Repping the squad. Finished at the top MVP. Shout out to Egatron and Pontiac. Fellow officers crushing it. And we closed it out, ladies and gentlemen. Mission achieved, goal accomplished. Something I've always wanted to chase. Something I've always had as a goal. We were a Masters Alliance last season. 18th in the world. You see those sweet rewards. Honestly, the rewards are nice. All the things were nice. But this is a status type thing, right? It's a status achievement. And uh, I'm rocking that Master title now. I can finally do it as opposed to having that hand down on the uh, Platinum 1 rewards. And so I went ahead and cleared the showcase because with all those Titan shards, you know, we're chasing Red Skull. So I wanted to pop a Titan here and uh, let's spin it out and see how it goes. Now, we really are just chasing Red Skull in this crystal. I want a Red Skull. Here we go. It's slowing down. There it is. Retire. There's the Red Skull. Oh, no. We get about the best miss possible. Yes, I have a rank 5 ascended, but I'm effectively future-proofed now with a 7-star Serpent. Can't wait to dupe him. And here's the season stats. There you see it. 70 fights, 3 deaths. Uh, all 3 of them on minis. I did not die to a boss. I wound up with the uh, boss killer and battle group MVPs. And I'll post those in a community post later because you can see the sweet artwork from our uh, our Alliance Leader Strange. But heck of a performance by a battle group. I included all their stats because we planned, you know, me and Nitro. Uh, Nitro being main planner, of course. Shout out to him, man. He crushed it, not just in war fights and planning, but just overall leadership. It's been a pleasure working with him. And let's get it. We're masters. Until next time. Peace.